Hi guys, today we're gonna take a look at batch slip sheeting in Bluebeam. This is a very great tool that can help you all to create your history set. What it does basically slip sheeting and new ones in front of the old ones and stab the old drawings as superseded. This is gonna help you go back and forth between the different milestones so you can see the improvement of the drawings. And also you might ask, okay, so we have a few new drawings, how we can sort those out? Great question. We're gonna use the bookmark tool. So we're gonna use the bookmark tool to identify all the new drawings and we're gonna put them at the end of the drawings or wherever they're supposed to go. And basically we use the region tool in bookmark to name them. So without further ado, let's jump into Bluebeam so I can show you how you can create your history set in a few steps. So as you guys see, we have two different type of drawings, 50%, 100%. In order to create a batch, we hit the batch tab all the way down, select slip sheet. It's gonna open up a window. You can select the both files, right? So you have the revised and you have the corn. Corn is the one that you are using and the revised is 100% that you guys will be adding to. So you can match these by uh, region, label, manual, I would recommend go to region, they also have an advanced, um, you can go over there, but for now we will cancel this one, we'll just basically go and use the page region. So we hit select, you're gonna tell them, okay, I need the sheet number and also a title sheet. So basically Bluebeam is gonna go through these two different type of drawings, reviewing the sheet number and the sheet title and it's basically tell you what drawings are matching. Again, hit match pages. It's gonna take a few seconds. It's gonna tell you you have 12 pages that is unmatched and 32 pages that is the same. Under the options, you have two different options. So one of them is just to replace the current. It's gonna copy the mark unflattened, but I would recommend select the insert revised pages and make sure you uh, checkbox the stamp. So basically it's gonna stamp the current one and then uh, and basically just gonna put the super seed as a stamp on it. So you're gonna hit, okay, it's gonna take a few seconds or a few minutes based on how many sheets you have. It's gonna go through them. It's gonna basically slip sheeting the new one um, and then uh, stamp the old one as super seed it. These are all the pages that we're missing is unmatched because they're new. So I'm gonna tell them I need all of these extracted because I need to add these to my current set and make it a story set. So you can kind of select the folder on your downloads and then place all of them in there. And then it's gonna create a summary for you, right? It's gonna tell you how many pages you have, how many unmatched, uh, you know, it's gonna give you also a summary with all the higher uh, hyperlinks and a stamp. And you want to know what different type of page size you can get and then this is going to be the basically the batch summary right so it's going to tell you exactly what's been over there what is the new one that you got and it's going to give you hyperlink to kind of go back and review it so this is a kind of great summary if you want to take a look at it see what are the pages that have been overlaid which one is the revised like the old one like superseded like this one and which one is the new one so right now, if you kind of see all of these pages that I have, so basically they put the 100%, which is the latest and greatest, and then put the 50% as superseded because that's the old version that I had. So if you go one by one, all of these, you'll be able to see, you know, this is your history set, basically. You see the recent, and you also see the old version. So what I'm gonna do right now, I basically go to the document, I want to go to pages from documents so I can see all the open drawings that needs to be slip sheeted. So I'm going to remove whatever that I don't need and I need all of these new sheets that I need to add to my new drawings, right? You're not see it over here, but you can see the number of pages have been increased, right? So basically it's adding all of those to the bottom to the bottom page the last one so what we need to do is quickly we just go to bookmarks we would create a new page region so we're gonna make sure we go from the last drawing 
um, and then tell them exactly what we want. We want the sheet number and we want the sheet title. These are all the new drawings that we need and we're gonna use the bookmark, create a bookmark. So it's gonna go and add all of those, the new ones, but just make sure what you need to do is you're gonna double check the pages, right? So you can see the preview. I'm gonna cancel over here so I can show you guys you have all the pages over here. It says one to 40, right? But I only want 32 to 40 because I only have eight sheets, right? So you're gonna do the region for the sheet number. The region two is for piping uh, system diagrams, which is the sheet title. And it's gonna go from 32 to 40. And you guys can see basically adding everything over there. So this is kind of my history set that I created. I have the latest and greatest drawing and everything is basically an old one is superseded and also I added the old one so right here you can see a little bit of like a preview how it's gonna look like you have all the latest and greatest on the first page the second page is gonna be the same version but the superseded one which is gonna be the old one thank you guys for watching today's episode on batch slip sheeting and blooming if you like the content please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in the comments section down below if you are using a different method to create your history set in blueby thank you so much for watching see you in the next video